Hi, I'm Kate Hahn with TV Insider, and we are speaking with the cast of Loot. Molly, what are you doing in here? Haley, in our bedroom? I can explain. Was she even born when we graduated college? Actually, she was one. Oh! Molly? I want a divorce. The fame in the life is right. You never think stuff like this is going to happen to you. But I'm much better now. <laughs> Maya Rudolph and Michaela J. Rodriguez, you play Molly Novak and Sophia Salinas. And uh, Molly is just so rich. She's this billionaire and she finds out she had a foundation she didn't even know about. Um, why do these two women need each other? I think Molly has always needed a Sophia in her life. Um, she's out of touch with the world. She's out of touch with herself. Um, and I don't think there's anybody, um, in her life, or at least in the past 20 or 30 years that said no to her. And, um, she is at a place in her life where she's slowly becomes ready to hear it. I, I would say I, I, Molly takes the edge off of Sophia. I think that's what Sophia definitely needs because I feel like she's definitely always on the edge of a cliff, ready to jump off, seeing if there's water below. And Molly's like, hey, before you do that, how about let's go over here and see what this is like? Mm -hmm. And I think definitely that's one of the key things for Sophia to really thrive. So yeah, I think that's what Molly does for Miss Sophia. Well, Sophia is not that happy with Molly when they first meet each other. Tell me about her first impression of her. <laughs> Well, what are her from, first impressions? I would say from Sophia's standpoint, she's thinking of this woman, like, who is this rich woman coming into a place that she hasn't been for, I don't know how long. Ever. 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 Yeah. Why is she coming now? And um, being that Sophia is this girl who's been working vigorously in this foundation, pulling all these things together, I guess there's like this chip on her shoulder and that chip has to be wiped off because there has to be some kind of like balance. You can't just like work in a place and like work people to death, which I think Sophia does. Like I would never do that as Michaela J. But no, the five no. minute to yes, talk about please. your weekend. I would, or what is it? 30 seconds or like a like minute? Five, like let's talk mm -mm. five minutes about no. Mm -mm. That's messed up. Well, she's got work to do. Right. Oh, wow. Well, and Maya Rudolph, Molly would talk about her weekend probably for an entire week because sometimes <laughs> Sometimes she can't make a plan because she might have to go to St. Bart's. So how right. fun is it to play a character that's bursting out of this privileged bubble? It's so fun because it's nothing at all like reality. You know, mm. she does not live in the reality that I know. And um, I do like that as a character. I th That element as a character is just so fun to play. Someone who's not used to hearing no and might not even hear no when she's told no. She hears like, maybe, yeah. you know. And yeah, the idea of I might need to go to St. Bart, I might be in St. Bart's that week. We we don't really know. We haven't show, we haven't made up our mind yet. That's fun. That's a that's a really fun place to play in such a little tiny element of a character that's like just an just enough of a of a kernel for me to just run with it. Mm -hmm. I, I enjoy that quite a bit. Now you three guys are part of let's say Molly Novak's entourage, you all three of you work for her. Um, and uh, Joel Kim Booster, you play Nicholas, who's been with her the longest, he's her personal assistant, and he he transfers with her from this jet setting lifestyle to this nonprofit in Los Angeles. What is that like for him to make that change? Uh, I think it's his worst nightmare, uh, quite honestly. I think at the start of the show, definitely he's sort of dragged kicking and screaming into this world of, of nonprofit work and, and charity work. And it's not, you know, I think he starts off sort of as a devil on her shoulder, trying to, you know, pull her back into her old life as much as possible. And, and um, it's really, you know, through his friendship with, you know, people like uh, Howard and Arthur at the foundation that he really starts to, to change and grow. I think he's very used to having friendships that are very surface level or competitive. And I think it's really a sort of a, a, a new experience for him to have friends that actually care about his well-being on a, on a real authentic level. So that uh, is really transformative for him. Well, it's great to see the friendship develop between these three guys. Um, Ron Funches, you play Howard and talk about like going back 
in uh in Molly's life, you play her cousin, but when she first comes to the foundation, she doesn't even remember you. So how does their relationship develop over this series? Well, I think just like a, a lot of people who leave home and leave their family and, and change their lives, sometimes there's a little distance that comes between you. But what Howard has is just this open heart. He never forgets anyone. He never forgets the good times that they had. It's like someone that, uh, for that friend that you have that you might not have seen in years, but as soon as you sit down, you pick up like where you never even left each other. And for Molly, I think Howard is kind of that conduit back into her old life, back into her family, that she's afraid that they won't want her back, that, that they think that she's changed too much. And I think Howard's there to remind you that your family, your real family, whether it's blood or, or chosen, always accepts you for who you are. And I think that's very important for Molly. Well, and they do form a workplace family on the show, especially they get a lot tighter as the season goes on. Nat Fox and your Arthur, who's really just meeting Molly for the first time. He's the mild mannered accountant. Is there any other kind? Um, tell us about his role. He, he's, he sort of forms a friendship with these two guys uh, over time. It takes, he has to jump a few hurdles. Tell me about that. Yes, I think, you know, Arthur lives a very solitary, simple life. You know, he enjoys going on a hike by himself for all hours of the day. He enjoys bird watching. I mean, he lives a very um, content and simple life. He's also recently divorced like um, Molly. So they share a bond over that. And obviously I think there are a lot of qualities in Molly that Arthur admires and sort of wants to be around and her energy and her positivity and her socialness. And I think he uh, develops a really nice friendship with these two guys in, in, in sort of seeking their guidance and how to kind of come out of his shell and express his true feelings to Molly and they form a nice bond you know maybe at first reluctantly but then you know it, it is much like a family and that they are sort of they have each other's backs. Loot premieres June 24th on Apple TV plus for more insider videos like this click subscribe.